We are going to tackle a JavaScript problem in this tutorial. The exact problem? Combining two arrays and removing duplicates. The idea for this problem came from a comment to a previous tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. So comparing two arrays, removing duplicates, and then combining those arrays could be a difficult problem to solve. It would involve some loops where you'd have to compare values and then add those values that are unique. However, a simpler way to accomplish this is to combine the arrays first, then remove the duplicates by converting the array to a set. Then convert the set back to an array. Now, this process is similar to another tutorial I did on sets. However, it hasn't been viewed very much, probably because it talks about sets and not arrays. But I will include a link to that tutorial in the description of this one as well. Now, as you will see, this works great if the array consists of primitive values. However, if those values are objects, we run into issues, as we will talk about at the end. But before we do that, let's jump into the solution. So here I have set up two arrays with names. So arrays of strings, they each have five values. And notice that some of the values are duplicated. We have Mary in this array and Mary here, Anna and Anna. So those two are duplicated. So first thing I said, the simpler solution is just combine these arrays first. So let's look at that right now. So I'm gonna declare a new variable new array, and I'm going to set that equal to these two arrays concatenated together. Now, how do we do this? Well, there's two ways we could approach this. The first way is I'm going to use the concat method of arrays. So to access that concat method of arrays, I'm going to put an array, an empty array here, and then concat, and into that empty array, we're going to concat two arrays, these two up here. Array 1 and Array 2, just like that. That will bring those two arrays together. So before we move on, let's just save this and check that out. So I'm going to jump out here, open the console, and refresh. And then I want to access new array. So here we have our new array. Notice there are 10 items. And notice that Mary is repeated and Anna is repeated. So it has those items in there as duplicates. Okay, now before we continue on to solving this, let me just show you the other way we could combine the arrays. And this is using the spread operator. And I have a tutorial on that as well. I'll include a link if you'd like to view that one. But I'm gonna do new array again and set that equal to and this time, we'll go like this. Here's the spread operator, and we'll do that to array one. Now what the spread operator does is it expands that array to its individual elements. And we'll also set it equal to array two. So basically, I created an array of arrays. However, with each of these arrays, I use the spread operator. So what it does is it expands those out to the individual elements, and therefore we get an array of all of those elements. So let me comment out this one up here. Save that and we'll refresh just to see we get the same thing again. New array and there we go. We still have the duplicates. All right, now let's continue on and work at getting rid of those duplicates. Now the way we would do that is we convert an array to set. So that would be simple to do. We let set, that's the variable we're going to assign it to, equal new set, and then we simply pass in new array. And that will convert the array to a set. Now we can save ourselves some typing here um, by simply putting this inside of here and getting rid of this line. So 
make this code more concise. So that's going to create an array of all of those elements and then we're going to convert it to a set. So let's save that and then take a look at the set. Refresh, set is the variable. Notice what we have here when we press return. Let me open up that set. We can see that we no longer have duplicates. There's one Mary and one Anna. We don't have the two duplicates. Okay, so we've gotten rid of the duplicates, but this is still a set. This is not an array. It's a collection, but it doesn't contain all of the methods and other features of an array. So let's convert that back to an array. And that's simple. We just go let new array. So this is what we'll end up with at the end is this new array. We're going to set that equal to an array. Now what are we going to put inside that array? Well, we're going to put the set and we're going to use the spread operator to expand it to its individual elements. So the spread operator works with collections and it works with set. And so it will expand that set into its individual elements and therefore we'll have an array again, but we'll have the duplicated items removed. So let's save that, jump out, refresh, and this time we'll look at new array. And we can see we have our array. Mary is once, Anna is once, we've gotten rid of the duplicate. So that worked great for us. Now, as I mentioned, this works great for primitive values, but what happens if we have objects? It doesn't work so well with objects. Let me just create some objects up here. So obj equals, we'll just create a really simple object. And then obj2, I'm going to set that equal to obj because I want to illustrate something. And then I'm going to take, create obj3 as well. Now obj3 is going to have exactly the same information in it as obj. Now first off, if we add to these arrays obj, both of them we add obj, what happens there? Will it get rid of the duplicates? Let me go ahead and save that and refresh and display our new array. And it looks like it got rid of the duplicate. See, we have only one object. Now, the reason that worked, the reason it was able to get rid of the duplicates there is because we were using the same reference. So it identified these as the same reference to the same object and therefore is able to remove them. Now we can accomplish the same thing even if we put obj2 because it's pointing once again to the same object. So if I save that to have obj2 and array2 now, let's go out and refresh and look at this again. And there we only have one object once again showing up. And that's because it realizes that those are referencing the same thing. And so as references, they are the same and therefore it eliminates them. OBJ2 is equal to OBJ. However, when we have two objects which have exactly the same information, those are not considered equal in this situation. So if I put OBJ3 there now and I save this, notice what happens. Refresh. Now we have two objects, as you can see. They're exactly the same, but they're seen as two different objects. And so that doesn't work. So what do you do if you're needing to compare objects to see if they are the same? Well, there is a way to do that. And uh, it requires converting the object to a string. We can do it with JSON compatible objects. And we're going to take a look at that in our next tutorial that we do. We're going to look at comparing objects. Now before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others on YouTube find this tutorial. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face, I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and a complete list of tutorials. Thanks for watching.